In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with IOBridge and show you how to use the IO app. IO app is an iPhone app designed to show your IOBridge widgets right on your phone. The first thing you have to do to get started is to sign up for a free user account. If you've entered all your information correctly, your account has now been created. You'll also receive a confirmation email with your account information, including your account number. So go ahead and sign in. Once you've signed up and signed in to IOBridge, you're presented with your dashboard. The dashboard on IOBridge allows you to place widgets. If you have devices linked to your account, you can have control widgets and monitoring widgets. Even if you don't have any IOBridge devices, you can still use the IOBridge dashboard. We're going to go ahead and create a widget. The type of widget I'm going to create is called an external monitor widget. This will allow us to pull any kind of data from a web resource, and in fact, Google Weather is already built in. The first thing I want to do is label my widget. I'm going to call this My Temperature. You can set the location for your widget. I'm in Pittsburgh. and it's 60 degrees outside. If I want this widget to be on my dashboard, all I have to do is click here. Let's go back to our dashboard, and there it is, my temperature, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and create another widget. I'm going to create another widget that shows me the temperature in Paris. It's 59 degrees Fahrenheit there. Well, in Paris they probably use centigrade, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to centigrade. 15 degrees, that makes a lot more sense now. I'm going to go ahead and put this also on my dashboard. And as you can see, I have two temperatures, my temperature here in Pittsburgh and the temperature in Paris. On the IOBridge dashboard, you can do drag and drop so I can arrange these in any order I want. Now that we have some widgets on our IOBridge dashboard, we can use IOAP. IOAP allows you to manage your IOBridge widgets right from your iPhone. IOAP is available on the App Store. IOAP is asking for your email and password. This is your same IOBridge.com user account. If you want IOAP to remember your account information the next time you sign in, select Remember Account. Now you're ready to sign in. As you can see, you have a blank dashboard and it's time to add some widgets from your account. Select Widgets and refresh your widget list. This went ahead and pulled in your IOBridge widgets and now you have a list of widgets here to display. If I want to see them on my IO app dashboard all I have to do is hit the check mark and hit Done. It's still 15 degrees centigrade in Paris and my temperature here in Pittsburgh is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You can do other things with IO app like rearrange your widgets. I'm going to go ahead and put my temperature first. The dashboard is updated on IOAP. To get more information about IOAP, you can click Help and IOBridge Support. This will take you to the IOBridge Connect website where we have projects, tutorials, documentation, and all the information about our API. We also have a forum where users can interact and ask questions. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get started with IOBridge. All you have to do is sign up for a free user account, create some widgets, and download IOAP from the Apple App Store. 